Joe here with Mahalo Daily. Today, we're going sailing. Ah, the beautiful open sea. Once a primary mode of transportation and exploration, sailing remains a popular recreational activity and sport to this day. To show us the ropes, we found local sailor Mike George in Marina del Rey. If you've ever watched Baywatch, and who hasn't at least once, you already know Mike's work. But aside from assisting camera crews with productions at sea, Mike is a seasoned sailor and owner of MG Marine, the manufacturing company of the M242 and races across the U.S. What's unique about the M242? One, it's a light boat, so it handles really well. And the big thing is it's a wide scope of people that can use it. It's the most popular boat in what they call the WOW series, Women on the Water series, and which is, they're all women's teams. And the boat has been around for about 27 years. So the damage and the natural deterioration of the boat is, has been shown to be very minimal compared to other one design boats. While watching the teams practice, we thought it'd be a good idea to go out with a crew and see some of the basics firsthand. And who better to set out with than former U.S. sailing team member PZ Glazer, who instructs the M242 classes. So you would come out on a boat like this. Um, often it's easy to start on a multi-crew boat, a four-person boat, because then you get one little assignment and you kind of learn how the boat operates. But you don't have to get away from the dock and back by yourself. So it's it's nice to learn the multi-crew People you can thing. trust. So going upwind, which is going as close to the wind as you can, is tacking to turn through the breeze. All right. And then going downwind, same thing. The sail needs to come the other side. That's called jiving. There's a lot of terms, but the sailing part's pretty easy. Personally, I think it's easier to learn on a smaller boat like this because you get to do more. If you're on a big boat, you don't get to do very much, so you don't really understand how the boat works. Okay. Here, each person has a responsibility. If they don't do it, it doesn't work. After 20 minutes of training with PZ and the crew, I felt it was time to put my new knowledge to use. Here's a few tips on the basics of sailing and what you can expect on your maiden voyage. First things first, put up the main sail. So what I need you to do is grab the, the round roll, kind of thing you got there. And then what you gotta do is kind of unroll it. Voila. Voila. La head. La head. <laughs> All right. That's the head of the sail. Okay. And that goes in this slot right here. And I'm gonna pull this up for you. And then you just need to have you guide the bull rope in the slot. You need, okay. You just so I'm, to, I'm doing it from this side? Yeah, put both fingers kind of there. And gently kind of hang on to it as I pull it up. There we go. There you go. So that's the first part of sailing. Second, take control of the rudder. Now what is this called here? It's called tiller extension. Tiller extension, and that's controlling the rudder. Yeah, and this helps you sit in different places and stuff and control the tiller. And because it's a dinghy type boat, you want to sit outboard as far as you can. Ready? Yep, push it away from me a little bit. Okay, tacking. Keep pushing away, pushing away. And there you go, good. And third, beware of the boom. So watch your head. Okay, I pull towards you now. <laughs> Whoa. All right, Mike, where can people find you if they're interested in sailing? Uh, they can find us on m242yachtsusa.com. To learn more, go to mahalo.com slash sailing. All right, that's it for us today. If you like what you saw, be sure to rate and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time on Mahalo Daily. Watch yourself. Whoa! <laughs> that was a close one.